Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to solve this equation with a radical. The first thing I'm going to do is isolate the square root. So let's rewrite this as 2x minus 1 equals the square root of x plus 7. We're now in a position to square both sides. So this becomes 2x minus 1, all squared, equals, well, squaring a square root just eliminates the square root. So this becomes x plus 7. Now let's expand this square. So this becomes 2x minus 1, multiplied by 2x minus 1. And this, of course, stays the same, x plus 7. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times minus 1 and minus 1 times 2x gives us minus 4x. And minus 1 times minus 1 gives us plus 1. stays the same. Now let's group these all on the left hand side so we get 4x squared minus 4x minus another x is minus 5x and plus 1 minus 7 gives us minus 6 equals 0. We now need to factorise the left hand side in other words we need two terms when multiplied together give us 0. It is possible to do this straight away, but it's not an obvious answer. So I'm going to use a quadratic formula. The quadratic formula states that if we set this equal to A, this equal to B, and this equal to C, then we can use the following formula to get our roots. Minus B, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So let's do this. b is minus 5. So we want minus b, so it's minus minus 5. Plus or minus b squared so that's minus 5 squared. There's 4ac. There's 4 times a. Well, a is 4. And c is minus 6. This is all in a square root sign. And this is all over 2a. a is 4. So that's two lots of four. Now evaluating this, minus minus five is five, plus or minus, minus five squared is 25, minus four times four times six. So that's four lots of 24, which is 96. And we've got another negative in there, so that becomes positive. This is all within the square root sign, and it's all divided by two fours, which are eight. This can be simplified to five plus or minus the square root of 121 over eight. The square root of 121 is 11, so 5 plus 11 is 16, so we've got 16 over 8. Or, if we use the minus sign, we've got 5 minus 11, which is minus 6, so it's minus 6 over 8. These simplify to 2, or minus 
three quarters. And they are your answers. Let's do some quick checks. If x equals 2, we get 2 times 2 is 4, minus 2 plus 7 is 9, square root of 9 is 3, and that equals 1, which is exactly what it should do. Now let's substitute in negative 3 quarters. We've got two lots of negative 3 quarters, which is negative 1 and a half. Less the square root of 7 minus 3 quarters, which is negative 6 and a quarter. The square root of 6 and a quarter is 2 and a half. So this becomes negative one and a half less two and a half. Now this isn't what we want, but of course the square root of six and a quarter can also be negative. So if we take the negative answer, this becomes plus two and a half, and that gives us one, which is also correct. Did you get it?